Isaac Sanchez, I S S A C S A N C H E Z, and Cal Fire PIO. What's going on? Uh, about 2:30 this afternoon, we received reports of a small aircraft down. Um, we we uh, initiated a search. Uh, initially, we had some issues uh, locating it due to the uh, vague reports. Uh, we did call out Sheriff's uh, Astria One to assist in the in the search. Uh, they were able to locate the uh, the wreckage behind us, um, inaccessible to ground resources. Uh, we were able to fly some first responders into the scene. Uh, they were able to ass assess patients. Uh, we transported two with moderate injuries to Palomar Hospital, and uh, there is one confirmed fat fatality at the scene still. Um, unknown at this point. I'm not sure how it was generated, whether it was uh, uh, somebody uh, uh, on the aircraft itself or from an eyewitness. What, what do you mean by moderate? What uh, do you mean by moderate? I, I they don't... got there? I'm sorry? They got to, you know, to the crash. You said moderate. What do they what do you Moderate mean injuries. Uh, Non-life-threatening injuries, but serious enough to uh, to uh, warrant transport to hospital. We, we know that there were three occupants in the plane, uh, two males and a female, and uh, the female was the fatality. Um, I don't believe so. I believe she was seated, seated in the rear of the, of the aircraft. And do we know where it took off from, where it was going? Don't have any information on that. Anytime we get a report like this, uh, it, it can come in uh, several different ways, obviously. Um, one of them is it's we've got witnesses at scene telling us the exact location, the exact address, and we just simply drive to that location. Unfortunately, this was not the case for this incident. Um, we got a single report. Uh, from what I understand, it was a vague description. I believe it was given uh, in the area of uh, Horizon View in uh, Ramona. Um, we, we, uh, we did search that area. We're unable to locate, obviously. Uh, and then it wasn't until we got uh, Sheriff's Astria 1 into the air to do an actual physical search of the area from the air uh, that we were able to locate. Can you talk a little bit about the dangers that you guys face when you are working with this terrain and these types of rescues? Sure. Um, anytime we get aircraft involved in, a, in an incident, there's always risk uh, for, for, uh, for something going wrong, for an accident ourselves. Um, it, it's something that we that we recognize. It's something that we do, but it's absolutely necessary in cases like this in order to uh, to locate the scene and render aid. Sure, and given this, that we just saw two people from that aircraft walk out, they they appeared more than more or less fine. Given the circumstances of, of the fatality, uh, this is good news. Well, you know, I, I wouldn't call it good news. There, there was a fatality. There is somebody up there still on the mountain. Um, although uh, the fact that we had two survivors absolutely is fortunate for them. Uh, but again, we are dealing with uh, with the fatality, and, and there's going to be a family out there that's going to be grieving this. Can you give us more specifics as to where the crash, you know, the the type of damage the helicopter did have, or the aircraft did have? You know, I don't know. I haven't been able to get eyes on it right now. The, the biggest thing that we're dealing with is dealing with the, with the uh, the occupants. That's our main concern. Um, FAA will be in charge of the of further investigation. So we had we had two men and one woman the woman was a fatality do we have anything about what they were doing in the air no 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 information on that again this is we're, we're coming in uh, as a result of the incident itself um, we don't you know they don't check in with flight plans and things like that with us that will be a uh, FAA's responsibility from here on out <laughs> from what I understand it's a small aircraft I don't know the make on it talk about the procedures from here on out obviously we're uh, very early in the state of this Oh, thank you. It's so nice. Talk about what the procedures are, if you can, from here on out. Right. For for us, for for the for uh, fire, what, what we're looking for is, is we're gonna we're gonna work on on uh, securing the fatality. Um, once once FAA comes to the scene, is able to to uh, complete their investigation, um, we're gonna be up there uh, uh, packaging and recovering the, the the person that's up there still, and uh, um, get, turning them over to the medical examiner. As far as what the FAA's responsibilities are, I, I don't know. I can't speak to what their their procedures are. Uh, but again, they, they will be taking over the investigation. How long are you going to be up there? Woman's body still up there. The the woman is still up there right now, and uh, we're going to be up there until the FAA um, uh, clears the scene and allows us to get in there. Uh, no no estimation at this point. So obviously, hours. you guys are going to be out hours. there for a while. Definitely hours. Yeah. What part of town is this? Like this is Ramona, but it's not really Ramona. Right. We're in, we're in an area north of Ramona. It's off of Pomo Road. 
Um, it's it's uh, referred to as Pomo Valley, not not Pomo Valley, but Pomo P A M O. Correct. Yeah. Now we were we were told that there's a lot of um, pilots that train here in the area. Would that maybe be? Uh, again, I, I'm I'm unfamiliar. We do have the Ramona Air, um, uh, Airport that's in the area itself. Um, I, I, I'm unfamiliar with what sort of services they offer, but that that would not be unheard of. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, sir. Yeah.